Well, some disturbing new figures on endometriosis today, the painful and under-recognised condition which can affect women's fertility. Joining us now is Marie Davenport from Endometriosis Australia. Marie, welcome. Uh, talk us through the figures from the Australian Institute of Health and Welfare. How concerning are they? The new report that's been released today highlights that around one in seven Australian girls, women and those assigned female at birth have endometriosis. That's based on uh, data from the age range of 40 to 45. We know that the delay in diagnosis is having a diabolical effect on the treatment uh, of the disease, uh, the management of, of the symptoms, which are incredibly painful. We know that around 50% of those with endometriosis are challenged by fertility. The average delay in diagnosis is around six and a half years. And that diagnosis relies upon a laparoscopic surgical procedure. So the delay in public health systems across the country is leading to a greater issue with access. We know that two thirds of those with endometriosis are having the operations to both diagnose and for the ongoing treatment of the disease in private hospitals. Why isn't this being diagnosed earlier? The girl uh, often c can come on from eight years of age and, and through teenage years isn't aware of what's normal and what's not. But even more concerning is that, that GPs, um, those in the emergency departments and throughout the health system, dismiss those with these symptoms. We need to invest more in GP and school nurse to ensure that these symptoms can be identified and that there are linkages for referral onto gynaecologists. What do you think the release of these figures will have on getting action to help women? There's been a national action plan on endometriosis in place for the past five years and we're starting to see the benefits of that flow through, but we have an enormous way to go. We need greater investment in, in specific endometriosis and pelvic pain clinics. We've got 22 that have been announced by the federal government. They're just starting to get up and running. But we need greater awareness among GPs in hospitals across the whole of the health sector and in schools to ensure that those suffering these symptoms get the support they need, that they're taken seriously, that they are diagnosed quickly and they are empowered to manage their disease. We know that uh, around one in six people with endometriosis will lose their job and one in three are overlooked for a promotion. So they're the least likely to be able to af afford the private health insurance to be able to access timely operations and treatment. Is there a website or is there a number? Is there someone they can call? Yes, endometriosisaustralia.org has a lot of information around the symptoms of the disease. We have a list of the endometriosis and pelvic pain clinics, many resources to help manage the symptoms for those who have been diagnosed and, uh, and also links to other government sites where they can access further information. Marie, thank you so much for your time today. Uh, it's a huge issue and I hope uh, that chat has helped so many people. Thank you so much, Mark. After plummeting during the pandemic, the rates of retail theft have surged back to levels last seen in 